Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We just put the stock exhaust back on. Don't ask about that bolt. I do have the actual one, not sure where it is, but we're gonna do an oil change and that's what matters. First thing I do is remove the oil cap and then I go after the oil filter and let that drain. Make sure the seal is still there. So the filter we're gonna be using is your Ram PH6017A. Got that cane tire. Always remember to check to make sure you have the original seal for the oil filter. We're going to cut this oil filter open and always lubricate your new oil filter. Oil drain plug is at the back of the motor. If you reach down right beside the exhaust when it's not hot, you'll feel it. And it's 12 mil. With the oil change, it's 3.2 liters of oil. Then you want to let it run for a little bit so that the oil pressure will build and all the oil is in the appropriate places. Give it a couple revs, get the oil pressure up, let it sit. When you're checking your oil, make sure your bike is level. This is our oil preview window. And as you can see, it is right between the lowest position and the highest position. We are good at 3.2 liters of oil. The next thing we're gonna do is cut that open and see the health of the motor. This is how you find out if there's any metal particles in your oil. So I completely butchered the uh, oil filter. It does look like there's some shiny bits in the oil. How does the, uh, the oil filter look? The oil filter doesn't look too bad. I put a magnet in it, and you can see what I was talking about. So the motor has medical particles in it. That is not good. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. But that's how you know if your motor is healthy or not. This motor is not healthy.